Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nurul Nadia, and it is my pleasure to be your MC this morning. Before we begin our session, we welcome you to post or type your question in the Zoom chat box or comment in the YouTube live streaming during the entire session. Your question will be answered after the sharing by our three speakers later. Now, let us begin this webinar event. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Abdul Latif Haji Abu Seman, Director General of Malaysia Productivity Corporation, MPC. Yang berusaha, Prof. Engineer Dr. Lee Ziwei, President of Tunku Abdul Rahman University College, TAUC. Yang berbahagia, Datuk-Datuk, Datin-Datin and Distinguished Guests. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. A very warm welcome will be to our guest of honour and all of the invited guests. This event is the soft launch of Adrolling Web Portal. Welcome to this event. Let it be remembered that you are all among the first in Malaysia to experience this amazing platform, Adrolling Web Portal, the portal that will enable you to seek and share your, inf your information, build greater connectivity and creating high value in your business in the agri-food supply chain. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call upon Yang Berbahagia Datuk Abdul Latif Haji Abu Seman, Director General of Malaysia Productivity Corporation, MPC, to deliver his opening remarks for this event. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Uh, Yang Berusaha Professor Engineer Dr. Lee C. Wei, the President of Tunku Abdul Rahman University College, uh, Honourable Speakers, Mr. Kip Chan, uh, founder of uh, K Farm and also Agro Food Productivity Nexus uh, governing uh, committee. Uh, uh, we have also Yang Usa Dr. Lim Ye Mei, the senior lecturer of uh, uh, Tunku Abdul Rahman University College, and uh, Yang Usa Dr. Lee Waping, also the associate professor of. Uh, uh, Tunku Abdul Rahman University College. Salam Jatra and a very good morning. Uh, first and foremost, allow me to express my appreciation to the organizer for a job, job well done in making the soft launch possible this morning. I'm also uh, thankful to all for those involved in spending uh, you know, your precious time to join us here today on this momentous event. Uh, I hope you will took uh, back. Uh, you will look back one day to realize that you were once uh, you were one of the witnesses of the beginning of a new experience in agro food productivity for our beloved country Malaysia. Now our future lies in data management. Data not only enriches our knowledge and open new possibilities. Data is also the answer to free up resources so we can better utilize their capabilities to push the frontier, frontier of existing achievement. The potential in data is immeasurable. Data that has gone through intensive analysis could be cap captured to capture in accessible platform constituting priceless information. Uh, this information combined with experience, jurisdiction or judgment is what came to be known as knowledge. Knowledge is the internalization of information, data and experience. Uh, data accumulated by our forefathers in agriculture were compounded from learning and upskilling. However, it centered on toiling in the field from many years of energetic work, every problem and solution is covered added to individual knowledge. This requires patience and passion. However, the same challenges and solutions could have been overcome faster and better with the right knowledge being shared timely among farmers and players within a community if we have the right tools. Now, COVID-19 pandemic has accentuated the vulnerability of Malaysian agro-food subsector, which requires urgent intervention from all parties involved. The agro-food subsector was not spared. 
While a growth of production has been hit due to movement control order, demand for a growth of products has been constantly on the rise. To facilitate these remedial actions, we need a holistic and accurate information dissemination system that encompasses the whole chain of the existing agriculture ecosystem from, from production to retail and one that is robust enough to support and sustain future growth. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this morning we introduce to you the AgroLink web portal. This is a collaborative culmination of efforts between AgroFood Productivity Nexus and Tunku Abdul Rahman University College. This web portal is created to provide free and easy access to information regarding all aspects of the agrofood supply chain to the general public in the nation. The AgroLink enables users to develop interactive linkages among their institutional or commercial fraternities. This spurs value creation each time users connect or interact with the resource provider of the AgroLink web portal. Now, the AgroLink web portal is capable of assisting independent interested entities and representatives of industries or associations in promoting their knowledge and business within the fraternal communities. The contribution of information resources to the web portal allows contributors to develop wider connectivity for research or commercial purposes. This initiative is a prime example of how the aspiration of Malaysia productivity blueprint is being realized by overcoming the challenges of technology and digitalization, seeing collaboration between government agency, academia, and industry players. The strength of this AgroLink is the inclusiveness. It provides together with data transparency made accessible to every Malaysian and also citizens in the country. A perfect blend of involvement between government agency, academia, industry players, and the public masses. What began from AFPN, that is AgroFood Productivity Nexus, identifying the gap and uh, Thai University College developing the platform, we are hoping that industry players would add to the impact by contributing contents and interacting in AgroLink for the benefit of everyone accessing the system. Finally, I would like to once again express my gratitude to all of you for joining us here today. I am confident that the AgroLink web portal will be a success made possible with your cooperation and commitment and I wish everyone a fruitful session. Thank you. Okay, without any further ado, it is now my pleasure to invite Prof. Engineer Dr. Lee Siwei, President of Tunku Abdul Rahman University College, Star UC, to deliver his welcoming speech. Please welcome Prof. Engineer Dr. Lee Siwei. Uh, okay, thank you, uh, MC. Very good morning to all of you. Uh, yang berbahagia, Dr. Abdul Nasis, CG uh, for MPC, uh, Mr. Kit Chan, and my uh, fellow colleagues. Uh, and also all of course all the participants and the uh, our partners and collaborators and uh, all the stakeholders right, of uh, of the agriculture sectors in Malaysia. A uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, I believe this sounds like a bit of a technical problem. So uh, I, I will speak first uh, and while they are calling out the uh, technical problems uh, for the Datu Abdul Latif speech just now. So um, I just want to say a few words um, regarding the uh, collaboration that we have with, uh, with MPC. Now, um, the sector that we are addressing here for the AgroLink uh, platform is the agriculture sector itself, which is, uh, as we all know, uh, agriculture is one of the uh, oldest uh, industries uh, in human uh, civilization. So it, Started even uh, long before um, uh, before the uh, our uh, 
uh, modern um, civilization uh, started. You know, so um, but over the years, there's always been a problem in terms of uh, dissemination of information, um, bridging the uh, the producer and the, the consumer, uh, imperfect market information, and and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, the uh, the whole uh, industry has never been uh, um, perfect in the sense of uh, uh, free um, and, and, and optimum uh, mechanisms for the uh, for market information to be disseminated. Um, so therefore, um, we have been trying hard, including in Malaysia, to uh, to uh, look into how we can link up the all the stakeholders uh, within the. Uh, the, uh, the whole supply chains and the value chains of agriculture sector. And uh, today's effort is one of the, uh, the uh, efforts that uh, we work together with MPC, um, taking advantage of the, uh, the fourth industrial revolution, uh, which brought us um, uh, quite a number of new technology, um, namely uh, IoT, cloud computing, big data, and of course the uh, uh, the 5G uh, infrastructure for telecommunication. So um, with this, we hope that uh, with the platform, the AgroLink platform that we have actually set up or initiated uh, together with MPC, we hope that uh, that will uh, uh, help to improve uh, the efficiency and also the effectiveness of the. Uh, the value chain and supply chain for agriculture sector in Malaysia. As we all know that uh, uh, from, for our countries, Malaysia, um, the uh, agriculture sector has not been uh, able to, uh, to uh, achieve self-sufficiency right? as far as our needs for food is concerned. And uh, there's still a lot of room for us to improve. And uh, with this agri agro-link platform that we have uh, set up, we hope that we will be able to help the nation to bring together all the stakeholders uh, for a better information sharing. And uh, with that, uh, hopefully, uh, the growth for our agriculture sector will uh, continue um, or to be even further enhanced. And um, I think uh, the, uh, what Thai UC has, um, has, can bring in or can offer to this uh, collaboration that the expertise that we have in IT uh, and also especially in data science and uh, cloud computing. And of course, uh, some of our um, staff who are also um, you know, um, experts in some, some aspects of uh, agriculture science, for example. So these are the uh, kind of uh, uh, support and uh, contribution which we can bring to this uh, AgroLink platform uh, in collaboration with MPC. I must thank uh, all the stakeholders, uh, the partners, the collaborators, um, especially MPC, for giving the uh, support and also having confidence uh, in us uh, in uh, getting this initiative to be, uh, to be started. And we also urge and we hope that uh, uh, more um, stakeholders uh, in Malaysia um, for agriculture sector will be able to join us uh, to enrich this platform so that uh, it will benefit uh, more and more uh, players in this um, industry. And uh, we, this is just a beginning and there's still a lot more for us to do. And I really look forward to, uh, to see that the, uh, the collaboration uh, will continue to be, uh, to be strengthened and hopefully um, the uh, outcome of this will be able to help the, uh, for the nations to promote and, and improve uh, the agriculture sector. So uh, once again, uh, I would like to congratulate the team and also MPC uh, for, for having this uh, initiative, uh, initiative right, to, be, uh, to be started and, uh, and come to today's uh, event in which that we can launch um, this portal uh, for us to get more um, stakeholders and players to join us. So with that, uh, thank you very much. And I wish all the best to, to all of you uh, for this effort. Thank you.
thank you Prof Lee for your warm and delightful welcoming words. So we will continue with this event. Okay, what a great day this will be. I still remember the day back in 2019, the Agrofood Productivity Nexus or AFPN has started the initiative to develop an information toolbox. AFPN began to develop an information, AFPN began to collaborate with TARUC and MMU and work closely with the industry so that stakeholders in the agrofood supply chain can work together to increase the productivity in Malaysia. To begin with the session, I would like to call upon Mr. Kitchan to introduce the AgroLink. Mr. Kitchan is an agrofood productivity nexus governing committee member and also industry productivity specialist with Malaysia Productivity Corporation (MPC). Please welcome Mr. Kitchan. Thank you, Professor Lee, for your opening address. Ladies and gentlemen, you must realize that when we have the Director General of the Malaysian Corporations Productivity Corporation and the President of the Ta University College supporting this project, you know that we have a winner. That's the kind of winning clap that we have. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Kit Chan, and I am a starfruit farmer. I can read and I can write, and I also have a university degree. Yet, when I first started to become a farmer, I knew nothing about farming, except that I wanted to succeed and I'm willing to work hard. But now I say, working hard is not a sufficient recipe for success. There are a thousand things to do to produce a starfruit crop successfully. In those early days, I relied on the workers for their skills that I know what to do in the farm. I listened to all of my neighbor farmers who advised me what I should do. And I can tell you, there was a lot of advice coming from them. I read all the technical papers I could get my hands on from the UCLA, from the U University of Florida on tr fruit tree management. In those days, there were no internet. I used to drive for miles to go to the university library to read all the books I could get my hands on. Some of the books were even written in the 1960s, and I was so happy even for those material. I drove to the offices of Mardi, the UPM, and I took hours out of the researchers and the scientists from these places simply to get them to tell me, advise me, that I learned some of the things that I needed to do to manage my farms. And I'm glad to tell you that these people who have helped me in those days are today still friends of mine, and these are my mentors, even up to today. In the farm, I read all the labor in the pesticide bottles. I spray the chemicals, but every now and then they don't work. And the pests continue to destroy my crop. I applied fertilizers to the trees like I would feed a hungry baby. But then the trees grew very big, but the fruits remained not the way it should be. And then I had to stop because I ran out of money. And then I had my first commercial harvest. I sold my fruit to a man who was introduced to me by a neighbor farmer the collector came to my farm, saw my fruits, and he said, wow, what a great crop that you have. He put my fruits into the baskets, put it onto his truck, and I never saw him again. Neither did I get paid from him. This was a part of a sad story of my career in farming. But today, after 30 years, I still have now a surviving business in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm still selling my star fruit to the Europeans. Today, I teach my farmers how to manage their farms. I design marketing strategies for the mango growers in Pakistan. They call me a tropical fruit development expert. 
nice names. I could do all these things simply because I have gained the knowledge over all these years, over all this time. I say, if only I have done it in an easier way. Yes, there is. And you can also, all of you, can do the same things that I have achieved, but you do not have to wait 30 years. Why? Because today we give you the AgroLink web portal. The agrolinkmalaysia.com provides free and easy access to the information, the knowledge you need to produce a successful crop it connects you with the people, with the market for your agri-food product and services. The AgroLink has the tools that you need to do all of these things. Because as a modern farmer, you need to play beyond your own capacity because the competition today in the market is outrageous. And if you don't make it, you are not there. You may be a small player in the agri-food industry, but you must believe that there are a lot of people out there who wants to know your product, who wants your product. You must believe in that. Or you may be a big player and you know that everybody out there will be your customer and you want to know them and you want to bring them on board to your company to become bigger. The agrolinkmalaysia.com can bring your business to the level that you have always dreamed about. However, the agrolink is not an encyclopedia that tells you how to grow chili, for example, but it allows you to communicate with all of the chili growers, all of the chili experts how that you can improve your production techniques. The AgroLink is where you can find the clusters of chili farmers, where they normally hang out. And what do they normally talk about? The AgroLink is where you can find the technology and where the experts can show you the techniques, how you can become a better chili producer. The AgroLink is where you bring your business to the right places, to the right people that you have always wanted to meet. Remember, as we have said before, knowledge is power. And the AgroLink gives you that power. We have a tagline in this AgroLink web portal. It says, get connected, grow together and we believe that this is the recipe to success in today's business strategy ladies and gentlemen the agrolink was created by people who believe that the access to information should be free and accessible to anyone who wants it we have built the foundation to this goal. Now it is yours to take, and it is for you to take it to the heights that you want it to be. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Kitchen, for your passionate and committed explanation. You have already convinced me to come on board to the AgroLink web portal. Thank you so much. Next, I would like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Lee Wah Peng, Head of Center for Postgraduate Studies and Research of TAR UC. Leading the development of AgroLink web portal, he and his team has realized the concept of AgroLink. Dr. Lee is now showing us how to leverage AgroLink for business growth. Please welcome Dr. Lee. Uh, good morning. Uh, everyone. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Kitchan, sharing the dream of uh, integrations of all the supply chain in Malaysia. But 
I believe there's one question people will ask. What are the differences between Algolink and other platform? Right? And the value. Now, there are three rules and the guiding principles in Algolink to support your business growth. Rule number one, strategic planning. To position your product or services in the right place, to attract your business associate to join the supply chain created by you is very important because inefficient supply chain may provide the opportunity for your competitor to challenge your business. The business risks are not only on you, but also your business associate who are trusting you. So here is the first guiding principles in algorithm. Avoid putting the right product in the wrong place, especially in the supply chain. I would like to show you the examples of how to position your product or services in Algolink. So you can see from here, let's say you are the ginger, you grow ginger, you select ginger definitely, right? You won't mix up together with the rest of the crops that you are looking for. Uh, then after that, you have to position you as a processing or as a products. And then again, these are the way how Algolink help you to position your product. Rule number two, value proposition. Now, your business associate, let's say for example, a fish is dying. What is need is water right? Provided by you, let's say. The water has value to your business associate, right? Now, your product, which is water, has a five levels of value. The first one is called core value uh, because water is used to survive. So your product core value is survivor. Now, second is your generic value such as clear, no smell. And the third expected value will be such as like, you know, rich in mineral. The fourth is an uh, argumented value such as a fast delivery. But the last one here is a uh, potential value. So your product has a potential value to resell to other fishes because fish are going to die. They have no water. Exactly the same as like COVID-19 when, uh, when you have a vaccine. So you will become the business, you know. That's the reason why American and, uh, you know, China and uh, European country want to fight for the first one to be producing the vaccine to the world. That is exactly the value that I mentioned for. So here is a second guiding principle in Algolink by Heng Li Ford, not by me, by Heng Li Ford. Okay, he says that if, isn't, if it does not add any value, it is a waste. Okay, it's a waste. I repeat again, if it does not add any value, it's a waste. It means that if you do any advertisement in any of the web portal, they don't create value for you, it's a waste of your money and your time, right? You go to the Google search, you go to any platform, do they create value for you? Or they just post up all the information for you? Okay. Now, the example of the value proposition of your product or services is Algolink is in a description here. Okay, these are the uh, value description. This describe your product value, you sell it your value. Instead of selling a bundles of information and useless information, you sell value. So, rule number three. Information sharing. All supply chain, all day supply chain, your product information is confined to a very small business territory. Shining light but hardly see from far away. This is especially 10, 20 years ago when there's no Air Asia. You cannot fly anywhere you want. So you have hardly to do any business elsewhere. Okay? Now, now you have a digital supply chain allow the information to obtain and share easily just like Algolink web portal. Now, information sharing will help our Malaysia micro SMI SME to grow together with you and your business associate together. We call it cooperative supply chain. And the uh, uh, government agency like MPC or even like Institute of Higher Learning, Thai UC can play a role in the supply chain to support each other to grow together because Malaysia market is small, 
and Malaysia is small. We have to go global. If we go global, we have to be cooperative instead of running solo. So the last guiding principle is outgoing by JC Penny is JC Penny is not is a is a founders of the JC Penny cop, uh, listed corporate. He she owns a, a 500 more than that uh, retail store in US. So the guiding principle in outgoing by JC Penny is every great business is built on friendship. Repeat again, huh? every great business is built on friendship. Okay, here is an example of a web link directly to your product service information that you would like to share in your algorithm. So that is on top here. Okay, now this is the end of my sharing. I would like to summarize the rules and the guiding principles of algorithm. First one, strategic positioning. Avoid putting the right product in the wrong place. First one. Second, Value proposition. If it is, doesn't add any value, it's a waste. Third, last one, information sharing. Every great business is built on friendship. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lee. I am ready to go into business now. I only wish I have heard this presentation many years ago. So now, before we proceed with the demonstration on how to get started on and grow and grow your business, a growing web portal, please allow me to thank the development teams who are from TARUC, led by Associate Prof. Dr. Lee Wahpeng, and Multimedia University, led by Professor Ku Boon Tech. Dear ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Dr. Lim Yi Mei from TARUC to represent the AgroLink development team to demonstrate to demonstrate it to us on how to get started with the AgroLink web portal. Please welcome Dr. Lim. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Let me share with you how the AgroLink web portal could potentially grow your business locally and globally. To start, let me tell you a story about Kak Fatima. Kak Fatima is a business owner who produces ginger powder. To increase the varieties of her product, she decided to grow her own bentong ginger farm at Baha. However, she is lacking knowledge in this. So she goes to <laughs> the agrolingmalaysia.com. So when you log on to the Malaysia uh, agrolingmalaysia.com, you will be brought to a beautiful landing page that shows the great potential of agro-tourism in Malaysia. You might be wondering why do you need to select a role on this landing page? That's because in the future, the website will be able to provide relevant information tailored to different roles of the users in this portal. Now, considering Kak Fatima is a farmer herself, so she is actually looking for information related to planting ginger. Look at this portal. It integrates all the information of the entire supply chain, from production to retail. Any specific information that you would like to know about the agro-food in Malaysia, then you can actually find this information from here. She is very happy, you know, Kak, Kak, Kak Fatima is able to find this relevant information directly from this portal by just clicking the link, and this will bring you to um, this will bring you to the relevant information directly to the page that you need in a short time. Wow. The rating over here actually helps Kak Fatima to decide which link is actually more reliable. Oh, what if let's say you still do not know your information that you're looking for, where do you find? Yeah, for example, let's say you are interested to know about HALA certification. Don't worry, you can just click on this search button and then you can just start your query over here. So for instance, Kak Fatima is very interested to know about HALA certification. So you can just type your query over here and you just click the search and this search engine will return the relevant information for you instantly. Yeah. And now Kak Fatima is also very interested to know about technology especially how to automate her uh, harvest process, for instance. So she can start researching uh, 
all the information related to technology that she needs from here. And there is a very interesting feature. Now, do you notice there is a little durian over here? This is actually a chatbot that can answer your questions 24-7. So assuming that Ta Fatima is actually now wanted to know about harvest machine. So she will just type her question over here. Yeah, and then she will just chat with the chatbot. And the chatbot will just bring her to the page that she is actually looking for. All right. So after spending her time on researching yeah, on uh, her business, yeah, her products, and now she has a new idea about a new product, the potential product that she wants to produce, which is, for example, let's say ginger mask with a rare earth, for example. So she wanted to test this market. She wanted to know the response of the, uh, the, the society yeah, about this idea. So she can actually post this uh, interesting idea in the forum. Yeah, so I can just click you the forum. So you can see the forum is a good place for you to actually communicate with the members in the society. So let's say she wants to actually spark some discussion about you know, her idea of creating this uh, mask with the rare earth. And she can actually just post uh, questions or uh, discussions and let everyone to discuss about this. All right. Okay, so she has actually uh, finally, so assuming that she finally uh, is ready yeah, to actually market her, let's say, the new Hala Bentong ginger powder. And now she wants to actually post this uh, information into this link so that everyone knows about this product. So what she needs to do is she just need to log in to the portal. So let me just type. Um, so let me spend a bit, a few minutes, yeah, to key in this. So you can see that is, you just need to lock in, and then you just okay. So she, how how do you actually create a listing? So after you log in to this account. Then you can just click on this listing. And then you can just create a listing here. Yeah. So, well, just now shared, I shared by Dr. Lee just now. Yeah. You should know that when you actually post this listing of your web page, yeah, this, will, this shall actually provide the relevant information directly to the user. So put the right web page that you want to share. For example, let's say Kat Fatima wants to share about her ginger powder product. And then she actually put in some emphasis about the values of her product in the description part. Yeah? She's also knowing the um, positioning her company uh, at the right place is actually very important because the users will be able to search this product yeah, at the right supply chain. And the Useful keywords, yeah, the good keywords can ensure the users when they search, uh, for example, ginger product, then the search engine will return Kat Fatima's product information uh, as one of the search results. Okay, so let's go back. Now, how are growing uh, web portal could actually help to grow your business? So let's imagine. Imagine that you have uh, potential customers, no matter they are from Malaysia, from China, from Japan, from Taiwan, or any other countries. They could actually, they want to actually search information about the agro food products and services. So where should they go? They will come to agrolingmalaysia.com. So imagine, I say, uh, who knows? Yeah, these potential customers, they look at the product page and they found that uh, Kak Fatima's product is very interesting. So this might actually help Kak Fatima to sell her products to a bigger market. She also can find her business associates from this web portal to help her to actually export her products to overseas. All right. All right, so as the integrated 
supply chain, uh, agro-food supply chain information toolbox. We greatly believe that this web portal will actually help all the stakeholders across the entire supply chain. Yeah, it will benefit you all. So what are you looking for again? So please just log on to agrolinkmalaysia.com and start to post the links that can create values to your business. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lin, for your demonstration. So dear ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested to know on how to maximize the benefit of using AgroLink Web Portal to grow your business, please join our workshop tomorrow at the same time. So you start our workshop at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Right, thank you. All right, uh, now uh, for the next session, we would like to hear uh, from the audience, right, on what are your thoughts uh, regarding the AgroLink, right? So this will be a dialogue session. Okay, you may post your uh, or type your question in the Zoom chat box, right? Or you, you can place your comment in the YouTube live streaming, right? I shall then read them out to the panel speaker to respond to your, to your queries. All right, feel free to, to, to type your question at the chat box. All right, we have uh, one question here from Jack. So how will this portal be promoted locally and internationally? And what are the target audience uh, that we could reach to? So Mr. Chi, you would like to answer to this question? Yeah, Mr. Chi, proceed. Yes, thank you very much. What we'll be doing is that we'll be collecting uh, information, questions, data from the, uh, the, the public, and we will try to figure out what are the important areas and subjects that are most pertinent to the public. Um, as far as promoting the uh, agrolinkmalaysia.com is concerned, uh, in the next three, four months, we will be doing a lot of road shows. Now, the purpose of these road shows is so that we can bring the uh, portal to the uh, producer community, as well as to the business, agri-food business community in the country. There will be an official launch of the agrolink.com, the portal, uh, by MPC sometime in early November. And from the uh, official launch, we will go all the way out nationwide and be promoting this. Now, what would the public be expected to, uh, to find between now and November? We will be trying to build linkages to you that you understand how to operate, like what uh, Dr. Lin Yimei has done just now, to show you how um, to log on and how to uh, put your information into the website. Now, don't forget that tomorrow there is also a workshop whereby we will work on the, uh, the manual for this web portal, whereby we would go on a step-by-step -step basis to explain to you what you need to do and what are the steps taken to make full use of this portal. So again, like I said, this is a soft launch. Bear with us. There are lots of little things that we have thought about, maybe not enough, and there may be one or two things that we would pick it up as you try to communicate back to us and say, hey guys, you forgot to think about this, and we appreciate your comments from there. So I hope I've uh, uh, satisfied some of your queries, Jack. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you, Mr. Keith. Uh, so, Jack, we hope we answer your question. So we have another question here. Um, from Go, right? Information about planting. Uh, yes, to answer to your question, yes, information about planting. Uh, you can actually place it in one of our subcategory. All right. Uh, okay, uh, another question from Yin. How is it possible for university researchers to benefit in contributing their research work in the AgroLink? 
Well, uh, well, this is a good question. I'm from a university college also. <laughs> Suppose I, we have to answer the question. Okay. There are many uh, the, uh, uh, aspects you can look into it. Uh, because this is a whole supply chain, you will count in for Malaysian, especially Malaysian crops. So if you do research in the uh, you know, growing or modern farming, you know, or the way of how you do the uh, selling using the e-commerce, you can participate in the uh, algoling. Because algoling is not e-commerce portal. And it is also not a research portal. It's an information sharing portal. So you ha have to find the right position that you want to put your information in. But anyway, we're going to have a workshop and a root show, whatever. If you're interested, you can arrange one day to go to your university. We'll share with you how are you going to share your information. Okay, this is one. The other aspect here is uh, because uh, we're collecting a lot of information okay, from the, uh, the crops and uh, activity. We can, in the future, maybe next three to five years, we can do a lot of the uh, analytics, big data analytics to help our government set up their own policy and channeling the funding you know, to certain area that which is uh, more people looking for and uh, to the right crop that we are, you know, we are you know, export or selling in Malaysia. Okay, so there are, there are many aspects. Thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. Lee. Okay, uh, we have more and more questions here. All right, uh, let me try to select. Uh, okay, uh, the question from Go just now, he has actually clarified his question. Uh, he said that he's currently trying to add value to coconut shell, right? Which is actually a byproduct of coconut, right? So, example of making coconut face mask, can I do this? <laughs> so, our panel would like to answer to this question. I think he, he would like to uh, start, a, start, start, start a new idea, start on with a new idea. So how could Agrolink assist him uh, in, in, in initiating um, or starting with, the, with his, uh, this idea? Starting a business, perhaps, yeah. Mr. Kim? Okay, uh, I will take this question. So go, if you are in the coconut business, and you want to make coconut face masks. Now that, that's very, very innovative idea. Uh, what you can do is make sure that you have a good product and, and make sure that you get all the certifications, please. <laughs> because this face mask that we want to use today has got to go through a lot of uh, uh, protocols and criteria and approvals. Okay, assuming that you've got a face mask made out of this coconut uh, fiber and it's a wonderful product. And you want all Malaysians to start with to, to recognize this product of yours. Well, do what you need to do as how Dr. Yi Mei has explained to you just now. Say for example, you are Ka Fatima, now moving away from ginger to going into coconut mass. Get yourself a very well done website of your company, of your product, lock on that site onto the agrolinkmalaysia.com, post it in there, and don't just post your website onto it and hope for the best, no. Put it up there, wait for responses coming from the public, inquiry, and you can even spur the activities of this by putting some questions onto the forum and say, hey, why are people not coming into uh, into this side of mind that promotes uh, coconut uh, fiber face mask as opposed to synthetic face mask, for example. So when you get this kind of conversation going, more and more people will start to ask questions and get curious about your product. Then you go back to your site and you add value as what Dr. Lee have said. You don't just put your product up there and hope for the best that people will come and buy, but you add value to it. You, you tell, you tell the, uh, the public, you tell your potential customers what these face masks can do for you. So these are some of the things that you as a user of the AgriLink Malaysia, because it belongs to you, this web portal, it's how you want, as I said earlier, how you want to take your business to a higher level. And these are the sort of things that you can do. Okay, go, I hope I answered your question. And uh, I think Dr. Lee has got some other points to add. 
Thank you, Kichan. Uh, to further further exp, uh, add in more, uh, 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 you know, uh, sharing, sharing. You have to first of all, you understand what you want to sell. You want to sell as end product, or you want to sell technology for someone to do process for you. So you have to understand very well your product and find the value in it, and then you find where you want to position your product, whether it's in the processing or is it in the retailing or even planting because uh, you want to grow certain coconut for you know for certain thing you need to fulfill certain you know planting you know uh, safety because of the uh, pollution from the river whatsoever so you have to be understand yourself before you you know you can use algolink set up a good website share your value and uh, you know introduce to the rest in your uh, supply chain inside the algolink thank you so I would like to add as well. So how does um, the Algolink web portal could actually help you in case like, for example, this is a new product and new product, you need to do a lot of research. Yeah. So you need information about uh, this potential of using this uh, coconut fiber yeah, in creating a face mask. So you need to do research on this, yeah, finding more information to support your product because you need testimonial. Yeah. So uh, the second thing is like you need to know, for example, where can, can you get your supply? Yeah, and then where can you find your potential customers? So this is very important because you are not just creating a product, but you want to sell the product. And if let's say you do not have your own uh, coconut raw material, you need to find a supplier. So you need to know where to find these suppliers. So this agrolink portal is a place for you to find all your business associates, as actually mentioned by uh, Dr. Lee in his sharing just now. So that's my uh, added points. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the panel for the very um, detailed right, answer. So I hope we answered to the question from the participants just now. So we have more and more questions right here. Right. Uh, I shall read out uh, this one from uh, Mr. De Dewan, right? How can we work together with AgroLink Agro regarding plant health? Right? How can we work together with AgroLink regarding plant health? Uh, Mr. David, uh, that's a very vague question. Uh, I'll tell you what, can you type a little bit more to your question and we'll come back to you in a minute because uh, it's too big an area to you ask. All right, great. All right, we proceed to another one since we have so many questions. All right, our next question is from an anonymous attendee, right? So can I put it this way? AgroLink is a networking system that helps farmers to sell products, to learn and to communicate. This is pretty interesting. So. Yes, um, I think I can answer to your question, right? <laughs> yes, it is a networking system, right? Uh, AgroLink helps to, to help you to get connected and we can all grow together. All right, proceed to the next question right now. Uh, another anonymous, anonymous attendee, right? They might get information linked to DOA is not working. Mm, we shall check this out with the DOA. All right, uh, next question. I'll proceed to the next question. When, when the other fruits like mangosteen, banana, papaya are available on AgroLink? Oh, are mangosteen, banana, papaya available on AgroLink? Right now, it is not there yet, right? Yeah. Because this is just a soft launch. So we will, we will add on more crops yeah, uh, after this. So check this yeah, out, feel right? Feel free to yeah, uh, add in your feedback because we know that there are still many products that we need to add in, especially uh, besides the crops, we still have livestock and fisheries information to be put inside. So if you think that yeah, it's very important for us to put up certain information into this, uh, just feel free to drop your uh, suggestions in the feedback menu. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dr. Ling. So I have another. Oh, Dr. Ling, yes, please proceed. Uh, but you, have, you need to, uh, uh, when you want to suggest certain crops, you need to ensure that the crop is grown in Malaysia. You cannot suggest lemon, you know, or kiwi, <laughs> which is belong to New Zealand. So you you introduce uh, Malaysian crops, and uh, if we're collecting more and more feedback, we know that it's necessary. We will add. Thank you. All right, thank you. 
So I'll proceed with the question, okay, panel? Right. Does Agolink provide e-commerce platform for farmers to sell the products or, or to sell their processed product or, or raw material instead of uh, the need to set up their own website? Wow. Actually, this is a very interesting question. Okay. Uh, Agolink also accept e-commerce. They are in a retailing site because e-commerce had its own limitation one. They don't disclose to you they are behind supply chain, right? Whatever in e-commerce website, it's just a trading. So they want you to buy the product. They don't disclose you to any information behind them. They don't tell you who are the manufacturer, who are the grower. So it has its own limitation if you are only looking at the e-commerce. But you need e-commerce for you to have a platform to sell your product overseas. Alibaba, whatever. Okay, Lazada. You don't need to create another one. We were going to invite all these e-commerce websites also participate in Algolink. Okay, so we complete the whole supply chain instead of favorable to just uh, e-commerce and you listen to what they say. Quality issue, delivery, logistics. So, Algolink is actually a networking session, information sharing. Thank you. All right. Uh, good. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lee, for the answer. Okay, we hope you answer to, to your question. So uh, maybe I can only accept one more question. So I will do a random selection from here, right? Due to time limitation. Sorry for that. We will answer you uh, separately, right? Uh, via email. If you do have any question, please feel free to email us. So last question, all right? How will the quality of this portal being maintained and regulated, right? For example, via the uh, negative comments, spamming, fake information, etc. So how will the quality of this portal being maintained? Very good question. <coughs> okay. Uh, we are talking about sustainability, sustainability for the Algolink. Now, Algolink is not a profit organization. We don't make money from Algolink. If you start to make money from Algolink, like e-commerce website, getting commission from them, whatever, then it's not favorable to our SMI SMI Malaysia who are not, uh, you know, uh, capable to, to do that. So, Algolink is a non-profit platform. It's for Malaysian. So, meaning said, uh, to sustain this uh, Algolink, we need a lot of the uh, you know, homegrown multinational company to support Algolink to sustain and sustain the whole supply chain. Because you cannot break the supply chain. You break the supply chain, our product cannot go overseas. Okay? And a lot of OC product rushing into Malaysia, like TV, like all this, all that. So we have to maintain our complete supply chain. So we need some you know, uh, 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 you know, capable company to sponsor, sponsor uh, Algolink and maintain the uh, development and uh, if, if you have any improvement, we are going to do on it. But anyway, this uh, Algolink also, we, we, may, we may to have uh, you know, a society uh, to get members to continue improve it from time to time. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, please, so please, I, please proceed. I just want to uh, clarify the question is like how to maintain the quality and the, of the data, right? Of the links. Yeah, of the uh, fake, yeah fake information. Yeah, right. uh, that's a very good question. Remember that just I demonstrated there is actually a rating. Yeah, the rating is actually something like a peer review. So it's like when you go to e-commerce, you can actually see the rating of certain products that they posted up. So this is a say. So when you actually post up a link, you will just remember that uh, the public is actually reading this link. So if you think that this link is actually not relevant, yeah, then they will just rate you very low. So if let's say your rating is very good, very reliable, then they will give you a very high rating. So we're going to use this information in the future where probably we will get add in some AI yeah, yeah, uh, in the next phase. So we are going to uh, like present rank your uh, links according to this information yeah as well as if let's say some people actually report uh, the fake links to us so we are going to get the moderators to actually do a housekeeping of all these uh, links so i hope i answer your question thank you so much all right uh, not to forget just now uh, mr kid mentioned that we need to get back to the question by mr devon right so he said he has actually clarified it so he said that uh is from an agri IoT company to check on soil health, right? For example, the leaf foliar, right? The health of the leaf, right? And all other physical parameters or in situ at the farm. So how can we work together with, with Mr. Devon? Huh? What do you think, Mr. King? 
Well, Mr. Devant, uh, you've, got, you've got a product there, an area of uh, uh, agri-food production that we would be very interested in promoting. Uh, there would be a few ways. Uh, one is, of course, you put your product and you put your name onto the AgriLink and let people know of what you are trying to promote. I would also like to encourage you that if you are if you have a, a, a program that you think that would benefit a lot more Malaysian producers, I would like to encourage you to come on board to the Malaysian Productivity Corporation Nexus program, which I'm uh, working with. It's called the Agri-Food Productivity Nexus. Uh, contact me and we would be able to uh, develop some of your products if they work very well with the cluster farmers. Uh, again, you see, like we introduced, that this portal is a joint support empowered by Ta University uh, College and supported and sponsored by MPC. And to develop further activities, uh, the AFPN, which I'm part of it, we will be able to take on your ideas and work with the cluster farmers in the country. So uh, that in some way, uh, it would be the kind of activities that you want to take. Now, bear in mind, a lot of this kind of work may not have necessarily be a commercialized entity. It can also be a development entity. So we would have to negotiate and talk about it and see how we can promote these products and the sort of things that you want to do. Okay, so Mr. Devon, I look forward to hearing from you. All right, thank you to our panelists uh, for the great uh, sharing and answering to all our questions that we have, right? So, so ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder that we have another session tomorrow, right? Which is the, the AgroLink Information Toolbox Workshop, right? You, you may use the same registration link to join that workshop, all right? Okay. So we from the AgroLink team would hope that the AgroLink web portal will be beneficial to everyone, right? So thank you for your participation and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. So thank you, good afternoon, goodbye. AgroLink, get connected, grow together. Thank you everyone. <laughs>